It was a late Friday night, and I decided to take a drive to clear my head. The moon was hidden behind a thick layer of clouds, casting an eerie darkness over the empty roads. I felt a sense of unease, but dismissed it as my imagination running wild. As I drove further into the night, the atmosphere grew increasingly unsettling. Streetlights flickered as I passed, and I noticed a few abandoned cars on the side of the road. My eyes caught glimpses of shadowy figures lurking in the trees, but I convinced myself it was just the tricks of the night. Then I saw her, a hitchhiker standing by the road, her thumb outstretched. Reluctantly, I pulled over and let her in. She was quiet, almost too quiet. When I glanced at the rearview mirror, she had vanished. My heart pounded in my chest. I was alone again. My mind raced with paranoia. I felt like I was being watched, followed. Every turn I took seemed to lead me deeper into an endless labyrinth of darkness. Just when I thought I couldn't take it anymore, I saw a gas station up ahead, a beacon of hope. I pulled in, relieved. The attendant greeted me with a smile that seemed a little too wide, his eyes a shade too vacant. I filled up my tank and went inside to pay. That's when I noticed the newspaper headline, Local man missing, last seen near gas station. My eyes darted to the attendant. He was gone. I rushed back to my car, fumbling with my keys. Just as I started the engine, a group of shadowy figures emerged from the darkness, surrounding my car. My heart sank. I was trapped. Summoning every ounce of courage, I floored the accelerator. The car lunged forward, scattering the figures like leaves in the wind. I sped down the road, my eyes on the rearview mirror. They were following me, gaining on me. I took a sharp turn, tires screeching, and found myself on a narrow bridge. Halfway across, the car stalled. The figures were closing in. I had no choice but to run. I sprinted to the other side, my lungs burning, my legs aching. Finally, I reached the end of the bridge and collapsed, gasping for air. I looked back. The figures had stopped at the edge of the bridge, as if bound by some invisible barrier. I was safe, or so I thought. As I turned to leave, I found myself back at the beginning of the bridge, the figures waiting for me. I realized then that I was trapped in a never-ending loop, a nightmarish cycle with no escape. And so, I write this as a warning to anyone who dares to venture into the night. Beware the road that never ends, for once you enter, you may never leave.